Today I'm going to vlog with 7 mm. Yes, you heard me right. 7 mm of full frame, 14 mm, or around 10 mm. To be honest, with 9.5 mm something on a APS-C. If you're thinking to buy the Canon 10 to 18, Nikon 10 to 20 for a APS-C, or you're going to buy a micro 47 mm lens or a 14 mm for the Canon RF Sami and Rocky Non or any 14 mm can you vlog with it in this video I'm going to show you I'm just using a micro four third for the demonstration do not focus on anything do not focus on the video quality stabilization just focus on the focal length so this is the full frame 14 mm Nikon APS-C 9.3 mm Canon APS-C 8.75 mm and finally the micro four third 7 mm this video is going to help you a lot if you are thinking to buy the Samyang Rocky Non 14 mm f2.8 for the Canon RF or Sony E mount or the Nikon Z mount uh, I'm not sure it will be there will there be a Nikon Z mount from Samyang or not or you are thinking to buy a uh, uh, 7.5 mm manual lens for micro four third or you want to buy the Nikon 10 to 20 Sigma 10 to 20 or the Canon 10 to uh, 18 mm so all of these focal length are very similar very near and uh, they are not exact like the APS-C uh, you really need to get 9 or 8 mm to match the 14 mm full frame but that is not the point the point is that can you vlog with a 14 mm click that like button and then I hope so I'm going to help you I need to shave my moustache and that well, the train is coming that one is the airport express so I'm handheld a 7mm I'm holding from the lens 7mm 7mm on the micro four third which is the 14mm can you really vlog with it that is the question can you really vlog with it I think so you can vlog with it and by the way I'm using the Panasonic 7 to 14mm to test and this lens is very how to say that quite bad when it comes to outdoor because there's a purple blob happening if you're using this lens on the Olympus body by the way I'm using the Olympus EM5 Mark III one of the best compact camera ever built so yeah 7 millimeter and nowadays we already have the DJI Poco 2 but the problem is that the Poco 2 only can go up to 10 mm uh, uh, can only uh, can only go up to 20 millimeter or micro four third uh, 10 millimeter so can you vlog with 20 millimeter that video is coming soon because there is an amazing lens 20 to 60 millimeter uh, for the Panasonic uh, L mount I'm, I mean the Panasonic full frame especially if you pair with the amazing Panasonic S5 20 to 60 millimeter I mean 20 millimeter is also a quite nice focal length to vlog but I really wanna get wide at this 14 millimeter again I already tell you you can again, again this one 14 millimeter 7 millimeter 9.3 millimeter for the Nikon and 8.75 millimeter for the Canon so this is just a guide to help you to decide how wide it is am I wide enough am I really wide enough let me just do a, a little bit like walking am I really wide enough or what you need to be the judge I'm handling the camera I hope so I'm wide enough because I'm looking for a perfect setup money is not a problem for me right now I have done my saving so money is not a problem to be honest with you right now I am looking for the best camera with the amazing vlogging lens the problem is that there is no such thing as best camera I'm looking for a camera with great stabilization I already on a few uh, Fuji film but, but the problem is that there is not a single lens or single camera which can which can be amazing combo such as the Fuji film XS10 good stabilization but if you pair with the 10 to 24 millimeter everything is like wobbly 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 like this or Canon M6 uh, mark to pair with the 11 to 22 millimeter um, you need to turn on the EIS after turning on the EIS it become like 20 millimeter so I'm just looking for a camera or the only camera which come close is the Sony a7 s3 
no Sony A7S Mark III, uh, which is around 3000 US dollar camera. Why that camera come close? Why not Sony A7C? The problem is that the stabilization is very bad. Sony A7C, everything is like very shaky. But another problem with this, uh, uh, but but there's also one problem with the best camera out there. Sony A7S Mark III, the 12 megapixel. You have to turn on the active stabilization. Again, active stabilization sometimes can be a little bit wobbly. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it can be a little bit jerky. And then you have 1.1x crop. Remember that 1.1x crop. So why there is not a single camera manufacturing which can make a 14 millimeter or 16 millimeter ultra wide lens and then give us an amazing IBIS? I mean, I was thinking to get the Sony A6600 pair with the 10 to uh, 18 millimeter. No, Sony Z uh, ZV10, uh, Sony Sony ZE10. Uh, that crappy camera but the problem is that if I pair the 10 to 18 I have to turn on the active stabilization which is 1.4x crop I just need a I just need a wide focal view with gray stabilization why it's so hard to make a such like you can make you can make a good OIS optical st image stabilizer in a lens if there's a great optical image stabilizer uh, uh, then I don't need to focus on the body maybe Nikon can come with their APS-C because they're Nikon Z50, Nikon ZFC if Nikon can make a Nikon 10 to 20 or even just like a prime 10 millimeter with bright aperture like f2.8 it will be a amazing 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 so let me let me move a little bit more so yeah I'm hand handling my arm is quite straight so this is my full arm extended my arm is this size as you can see so let me let me bring it like this okay so it's now like this extended like this extended like this let me do it again extended like this so you need to be the judge how good is the so now my arm is half half close it's near me extended how is everything I hope you like this my new series I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you do not worry even I'm going to vlog with 35 millimeter full flame 35 millimeter not only that I'm going to vlog with full frame 40 millimeter yes I'm serious full frame 40 millimeter I don't think so I'm going to do the full frame 50 millimeter it's useless because I try and pass yeah you can do some kind of vlogging with full frame 20 millimeter so for sorry full frame 40 millimeter which will be 20 millimeter on the micro four third or it will be around 25 millimeter on the APS-C I hope you like my video oh, by the way click click the link in the description box below check out my outing channel